Okay, let's look at hitting a sasai from the rear. Okay, this is a form of a rear takedown. It's a ashiwaza, meaning you're taking your opponent down mainly via a foot action. Okay, now understand the mechanics of a sasai. When I'm in front of my opponent, a standard sasai is a mechanic where I put weight over my opponent's lead foot, I load his weight onto that foot, that way the foot becomes hard to move. I block said foot with my own foot, and now I continue to move his weight up and over that foot until your opponent either stumbles or falls down altogether. That's the essential or basic mechanics behind uh, Sasai Tsurikomiyashi, just Sasai for short, okay? Now, from the rear, <clears throat> from the rear, hitting the Sasai from the rear, the, arguably one of the most important parts of it is mastering the draw, okay? Which is the concept of being able to synchronize your opponent's footwork with your own footwork so you can go through and start to hit the Sasai. From here, I'm behind my opponent, I'm going to work with open hands in this specific situation, both my hands and my opponent's head. From here, I'm going to take a step outside his lead leg and back step with my right leg. And I start to draw him. Did you notice how his right foot step? And I draw him. Notice again the, uh, the pattern of the right foot stepping back. That's one of the pattern I want to build. Now, once I build that pattern, all I'm simply going to do is take the same step outside and then simply block it with my right foot, and that's going to stumble or bring my opponent down from that. Like so. And now from there, he'll either stumble, in which case his stance is broken, I can attack off of that, or he's down on the mat in a situation where I can start to take the back if he plays guard. Good, I can start to uh, harass the guard from there.